Hi there, welcome to Hands Up for Trad TV. My name is Simon Tumier. It's great to be back. This is our fourth episode. We've got some brilliant music for you today. The first track is from Finlay Napier and this is called Cut Me Off. You got a restraining order to keep me 50 yards away. So I spray I love you 10 feet tall. Over the road from where you stay I got a difficult face for drama The wrong attitude from the start Each day's a new addition But always for the same part Always for the same part Ghost behind the movers van A go beside the skip There's one thing we agree on It's that I'm getting on your tits It's that I'm getting on your Cut me tits. off I'll grow back bigger Cut me off I'll grow back bigger Cut me off I'll grow back bigger I'm over the road From where you stay I could never be tall, dark and handsome Short, fat and lonely, that's me Perched on a ladder at midnight It's impossible two out of three It's impossible two out of Cut three me off. I'll grow back bigger Cut me off I'll grow back bigger Cut me off I'll grow back bigger I'm over the road From where you stay from Finlay Napier. Now check out Finlay's music. His website is www.finlaynapier.com. He does loads of great things, including stand-up comedy. He's a great compere. Check him out. Next up we have a track from NOS. They are a very young band living in Glasgow. They have a fiddler from Orkney called Graham Rory, a great player. And this is a set of reels. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> Thank you. 
That was NOS, and you can check out their website at www.nosmusic.com. Now that's NOS with a G, G-N-O-S-S, -S, so don't get that wrong. Now last Friday we were in Stirling at the Stirling Toll Booth for our 11th Distill Showcase. The showcase is where we ask nine traditional musicians to write for Mr. McFall's chamber. It's been going on for a long time now and all these musicians have attended our Distilled Showcase. There's so much fantastic music and they all write for a brilliant string quintet called Mr. McFall's. Now on Friday night we did a live stream of the event and you can see that at www.youtube.com forward slash C forward slash hands up for trad. It's all there for you. But anyway, we've got this great video from Sean Gray featuring a, a violin, viola and double bass. It's called The Sailing Experience. And remember, after this, we've got our own, a wee competition for you to enter.
Gilbert, tell me to name this. Sean Gray, uh, Echo Gilbert on the street line. So Sean, tell me, what have you done? What have you got ready for us for tonight? Well, I, I wrote a piece after a sailing trip with Mike Bass. Great. We sailed from Ardfern near Oban and um, we were moving the boat to um, somewhere near the, the start of the, the Clyde, but we had to abandon it. Right. Because of bad weather. Good. Sounds lovely. Yeah, it is. <laughs> a relaxing journey. Very relaxing journey. <laughs> <Not different. laughs> and who have you written it for? What have you got in your piece? Um, I've got bass, violin, and viola. Lovely. How did you? Unusual. And you're not in it yourself? No. 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 And how did you find it? Yeah, uh, I really enjoyed writing it. Yeah, it was yeah. Really good. yeah. Was it easier than the sailing trip? It was a lot easier. Yeah. Was more, it? More safer, yeah. <laughs> Well, as you saw, is the first fruit that you should have seen on the channel. Hard to make is YouTube. I used to like comment your video. Thanks very much. Thank you. That was a sailing experience by Sean Gray. Absolutely beautiful, I'm sure you'll agree. Now, in the last episode, we had a competition to win a copy of a fiddler Adam Sutherland's book, The Ergie Collection. And we asked you, where is Ergie? And we asked you to do it via Twitter with the hashtag Adam Fiddle. And the winner uh, was Anna Robertson. And the correct answer is Ergie is on the south side of Loch Ness. Now, this time, the competition is even simpler. The, win the winner will win one of our very special Hands Up for Trad key rings. Now, there's hardly any of them because we've given them all away. So you'll get one of the last few. And the question is... Where was the Distill Showcase held on Friday? To answer, just go onto Twitter and use the hashtag HandsUpForTradKeyRing and we'll get all the answers. You can follow us, of course, on Twitter at HandsUpForTrad. And remember, you can also join our newsletters at HandsUpForTrad.scot or follow us on Facebook at Facebook.com forward slash HandsUpForTrad. Now last week, at another Hands Up For Trad event, we headed up to Blair Athol, which is just outside Pitt Lockery, the famous Blair Castle, and we inducted Neil Gow, the very famous Neil Gow, into the Scottish Traditional Music Hall of Fame. Now Neil Gow has been dead for quite a few years, quite a few hundred years in fact. He was a, a, a fiddler of great repute, a great composer, and so many of his tunes are still played today. And we have got a short video here of fiddler Pete Clark accepting the award. My name's Pete Clark, I'm a great fan of Neil Gow and the director and organizer of the Neil Gow Festival, which happens every year. Um, receiving this award, if you like, on his behalf is a great honor. Um, he's a man who I think deserves some recognition. Uh, he was a big name in his day, and he's still a big name. His music gets played um, the length and breadth of the country. He gave rise to um, a tradition which continues to this day. His sons and his pupils all spread um, spread his way of playing and his music. And um, he's been, up until recent years, relatively an unsung hero. If you would like to read more about Neil Gow, visit our Hall of Fame website, which is www dot hall of fame dot scott right we've reached the last video it features chris drever it's one of his great songs if wishes were horses and it's from his latest album now chris is always out on tour so don't miss him you'll get uh, all his dates at www.chrisdrever.com but he's out in may and he's out with his band lau who you also might have heard of they do such amazing work so I hope you enjoy it. This is If Wishes Were Horses, and I'll see you the next time.
would tighten up when they told lies. Well, I may as well try and stand the tide if wishes were horses then beggars would ride then beggars would ride if you get what you want and it's not what it seems at the top of the mountain with Of your journey with miles still to go, it just keeps getting harder the more that you know. Across the sea where I live now The city lights shine on the Clyde If wishes were horses, then beggars would ride Then beggars would ride Wishes were horses, then beggars would ride, then beggars would ride. Cool.